Oh, hello all and welcome to this. Because I try not to share the address. I get just get home from work and what do I see? A, another random package from Randy. Randy, I don't deserve all the freak shit you sent me. But I do love it. What do we got in here? Oh my god. So much shit. Fairfield repack box. Box of heritage. He must have like the greatest Walmarts and Targets ever near him because I never see any of this. Football. BG, BCCG rookie graded card box. Wow. Look for randomly inserted Brett Favre rookie cards. Wow, this will actually be the first ever graded card that I have. Probably the last. And then some DVDs. Oh, look at this. Randy, you sent me one too? A Dean Ambrose. Looks like I get to open one. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Yes! Sammy! I almost I got three out of the four. Now I just need Becky. Yes! Love that. Ah, I love that. What do we got here? Man on the Silver Mountain. Pro Wrestling Gorilla. June 16th, 2017. Some good guys on the cover. Friggin' Zack Sabre. Kyle O'Reilly. I think that's Marty Skrull. Don't know, though. So if it's not, then I just look like a moron. Uh, yep. Zack Sabre Jr. and Marty Skrull versus Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Was Bobby Fish not good enough for you fuckers to make the cover? Come on! That's a pretty sweet fucking match. And... Pro Wrestling Gorilla, was this one PG, PWG? Yeah. Uh, pushing Forward Back. Interesting name. Zack Sabre Jr. versus Chuck Taylor. That's. Is that who? I guess that's Chuck Taylor. I don't know who that is. It's pretty sweet. Never really seen any PWG stuff, so that's awesome. Where do we even start? I guess I'll save this for last. Because this is bound to be... There's no way I'm going to get anything in it. It's guaranteed to include one of the following players. Wow, is this actually... Uh, it's a, a graded card. Rookie card. I was... Okay, so it's not an autograph. But the names are pretty decent. Cam Newton, Matt Ryan, Teddy Bridgewater, Des Bryant, Matt Forte, Adrian Peterson, AJ Green, Jimmy Graham, Odell Beckham, oh, Von Miller, Matthew Stafford... Kyle Rudolph, Blake Bortles, Sammy Watkins, Demarius Thomas, Sam Bradford, Toy Smith, Dobbin Kinsu, Doug Martin, Aaron Rodgers, Marshawn Lynch, Russell Wilson, Joe Flacco, Antonio Brown, Jamal, Ch Jamal Charles, Julio Jones, Rob Gronkowski, Calvin Johnson, J.J. Watt, Andy Dalton, Patrick Peterson, Andrew Luck, DeMarco Murray, Randall Cobb, Ryan Tannehill, Michael Floyd, Brett Favre, and David Carr. Um, who's the worst on that list? Maybe Michael Floyd or Tannehill? Or Sam, no, probably, probably Sam Bradford. So, get ready to see my Sam Bradford graded card. Here's the first time ever. And the graded card is... Oh, they give you free packs. Alright, jumped the gun on that one. Let's open these first. 2015 fucking fire. Interesting. Good. Randy, I love these packages, by the way. I never know what you're going to send me, and I love it so much. Sweet looking cards. 2017 draft. Sean Watson on the pack. OJ Howard, Bucky Hodges, All American, Brad Kaya. Christian McCaffrey and Travis Rudolph. And then Topps Chrome 2015. Randy, can you send me one of these every week so I can come home from fucking working a long day on Monday and just open all this shit? This is amazing. Um, nobody. Alright. 
And the graded card is... Somebody I actually really like. A Randall Cobb. Ten. I've never even heard of BCCG. You know, I've heard of friggin' like Beckett, and then there's one other one I can't remember. That's actually a player I like, so that's not bad. Randall Cobb rookie card. Graded 10, mint or better. They don't do the... The Beckett is the one that does like all the subgrades. So that's kind of cool. I'm assuming this was like 20 bucks, like these boxes. So that's not terrible. I kind of like that. It's a good player. I just drafted him on a fantasy team yesterday. So yeah, that's better. All right, let's go with the repack. Although I have probably a better chance of getting a good hit in this than I do in this. I just I don't have luck with the fucking retail shit. Although Randy did buy me that Becky Lynch kiss card, so who knows? Trash. See, we got two Road to WrestleManias 2014 and one 2013 at WWE. We'll do the Road to WrestleMania. I don't think there's a hit in any of these. No, definitely not. Unless it's an autograph, which I highly doubt. Oh, back to back shield cards. Uh, nothing. Ooh, sweet security tag. Nothing. Oh, I thought it was a kiss card for a second. I got so excited. It's one of those Divas insert thingies. God, I haven't seen one of these in forever. Of course it is. Who else would it have been? Be fucking Naomi. Fucking Naomi. I might have this at my parents' house when I used to like her, but I'll send that to somebody. That I won't throw away because I know somebody will want that. All right, here we go. Fucking teeny mates. These are like six bucks in Toys R Us. I always want to buy them, and I'm like, I'm not spending six dollars on a goddamn teeny mate. What do we got? Ooh, Sting. That's pretty sweet. And Bray Wyatt. Nice two. I don't have. Is this series two? No, this has got to be series one, right? Yeah. Free mode. And come on, glow in the dark Undertaker. Now nah, that would be wrapped. Fucking big show. Alright. What are we at? Fucking eight and a half minutes already. God Jesus. Considering I'm never gonna buy any more of these on my own. I'll open all the packs. First I will feel up the relic. I have no idea. Stick I, I, I probably a patch. I always feel bad. Randy sends these to me, hoping I hit something good and then I hit a fucking patch. Alright, the struggle is real with this. Lana, Carl Anderson, The Rock, Eric Young, Mojo, Ravishing Rick, Tatanka. Match of the night. Are there any parallels in this? Like I have to fucking like, look. I don't I don't open cards anymore. I just don't. And it's Top's fault, because shit like this fucking patches. No way I'm spending 60 bucks on a hobby box, 60 plus, on a hobby box to get a fucking patch as one of my hits. I should just look through these backwards. So I'm pretty sure in all those Diva Revolution boxes, I skipped over the parallel because I wasn't paying attention, slash didn't even realize that they had parallels.
Shinsuke Nakamura. AJ, Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens, Big Cass. What a pack of douchebags. Big Cass, Roman Regions, Kevin Owens. An Alexa Bliss card would be nice. Her base card, her base card is probably worth more than whatever hit I have. Bobby Roode, Naomi, Finley, Slaughter, bunch of old cards. Finn Balor, Topps All-Star Rookie. I swear to God, these guys have been rookies for fucking like ever. Bailey's the one that seems like she's been a rookie for fucking ten years. Orton, DDP, stupid John Cena tribute. They should do a John Cena Barry tribute. John Cena and Triple H Barry tribute. You could fill out a set with guys they buried. That's got to be a parallel, right? But it's not numbered. So, I don't care. Looking for numbered cards. All because of Phil. Alright. And the most likely patch is... Oh, it's a Matt Relic. Better, but Daniel Bryan Tribute has joined the Wyatt family. Wow! All right, it's a Matt Relic of Mickey James. Autographed. Seven of nine. What the fuck? Seven of nine? Wow. Randy, you got to keep buying shit. You are hot, my friend. Seven of nine. And it was Mickey James's return. That's pretty friggin' sweet. Usually Topps uses the clear stickers. That's strange, but also seven of nine? I thought these were numbered to ten. Wow. That's crazy. I'm assuming he also sent a box to Alex. Um, if you can top this hit, then you did a really good job at buying boxes. I'm pretty sure the last thing Randy sent me was that Becky Lynch kiss card as I stare at it. So she, he sent me that, a box of divas with that, and then a seven of nine. I'm, I still, I, I don't, like nine. You couldn't make a tenth one. Like the weird numbering is just odd to me. That's awesome. NXT take over Toronto, 11, 19, 16. That's pretty sweet. Awesome. Not as cool as Randall Cobb though. And fucking Sami Zayn, yes. Three out of four complete. Thank you, Randy.